Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie another one of William Bayard Sturgis patterns or from his book and this is going to be a lead wing coachman. The hook that I have in the vise is a size 14 standard dry fly hook. There's a barbless hook. You don't have to use barbless. I'm sure they didn't have barbless when he did this. I'm going to use some black thread and we're going to start the thread behind the eye and we're going to come back halfway and then we're going to move forward half of that and that's going to be the location of our wing. Now for the wing, for a lead wing coachman, you want a nice lead colored uh, goose or duck quill. I have goose quills here. This is from a snow goose. And I'm going to size my uh, my wing up the width. I'm going to take it. I'm going to touch the... Let me get it in there a little bit deeper. I'm going to touch the shank with the hook. And then I'm going to pull it through. If you mess up, you can just marry them back together just like this. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to push it through the point. And that is going to be our width for our wing. I'm going to go ahead and trim that one off. And that was from the right feather. Now I'm going to take from the left wing another I'm going to do the same. I'm going to touch the shank and pull that through. And I'm going to trim this one off. Now I want that wing to be the length of the hook shank. I'm going to hold them right on there. I'm going to take that loose loop, pull that straight down, and that wing is starting to come up. Keep it tight and secure it. Go ahead and trim off the excess and trim that at an angle. And now we can secure the rest and bring the uh, thread back to the tail. You can see there we have a nice opening already, nice division. With a, a division like that, you can either use the thread to divide them more, or you can just leave them like that, depending on what it looks like when you stand them up. We're going to bring our thread back to where it would hang at the barb. And that's where we're going to put our tail. And for our tail, I'm going to use a Coachman Brown hackle. This is the rooster. I'm going to stand them up at the 90 degrees or as close as they want to get. I'm going to gather a bunch of them together and pull them off. Now I have the tail nice and we want that tail to be from the thread to the wing. So I'm eyeballing that and that's going to be long. So instead of trying to trim them off with the wing in the way, I'm going to trim them off before I tie them in. Take them and tie them right in there. And quickly clean that up there a little bit and bring that thread right back to that tail area. You could go ahead and put a wrap underneath the tail. Get them standing there nice. Now, for the body, we want peacock hurl. So I'm going to take a pair of peacock hurl. Now we're going to take our peacock hurl and we're going to trim those couple off the front. Trim a little bit of it off the front. Just pull them together because this is going to be the really brittle stuff. Plus you want to keep them the same length. And we're going to tie that in. And I'm going to quickly wrap that down 
and I'm going to bring my thread right back to that tail again. Now, because we're not going to have any rib on here, I'm going to make a rope with the peacock curl and the thread. And we're basically just going to twist it around. And I'm twisting it. But sometimes you could go ahead and just twist everything and make yourself that rope there. Now, you want to keep holding it here. And I'm going to rotate my vise and get that body nice. And if you have decent peacock curl, you should be able to make three of them out of out of one or out of two peacock curl. We're going to go ahead and secure them. And then I'm going to take my poke and snip and get rid of that excess. Now I'm going to gently lift those wings and I'm going to wrap in front. And I'm actually going to rub the wings, but you don't want to pin them back. And there's our wings standing. We still got that division. Now with the thread real close to the base of the wing, I want to keep that thread close. Let me get that, and it keeps moving out. I'm going to bring that right there once again. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide the wing. Do a bit of a figure eight. And there we go, we have them divided. Now for the hackle, I'm going to use, this is a furnace hackle, but it is mostly Coachman Brown color. We have very little black strip in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give this the haircut. I'm going to take my hackle, I'm going to put it between the wings, and I'm going to leave a couple barbels exposed. And then I'm going to secure that nice and tight right there behind the wing. If it's a little bit loose, you'll push your far wing. Going to get that wing out of the way, and I'm going to secure the front of the hackle. There we go. And then I'm going to build up a little bit of a thread there so I could get the diameter of the shank from the back of the wing to the front of the wing pretty close. I'm going to leave that about halfway between the wing and the eye of the hook. Stand those up. Now we could go ahead and wrap our hackle and because we left the crew cut exposed. We don't have any shooting shooting towards the back. And we're going to give a couple of wraps in back. Two. Uh, we're going to go for number three here. Three. And when we get up to the wing, we're going to hold the wing back and rub the hackle on the wing. And we're going to wrap the Tackle the rest of the way. And one more. And now we're going to tie this off. And I can see I got some of the hackle barbels going forward already. Going to try to keep that. Oh, it broke off, so I better just save it. There we go. Now I'm going to take the my half hitch tool and I'm going to push those hackles towards the rear. I'm going to just go ahead and give it a half hitch. And get that half hitch tool down nice and snug. And there we go. Get 
do that a couple of half inches I'm not even going to use a whip finish on this one because I have plenty of head there now I'm just gonna put a series of half hitches in there go ahead and trim that thread away and put a little bit of head cement on there and we're gonna go ahead and glue that up and here we have a lead wing coachman hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends Please visit my sponsors. Let them know I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies that I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Gym. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.